Right, welcome back to Tech Trip 101. In today's video, I'm going to show you the basic troubleshooting and how to fix File Explorer not working in Windows 10. Alright, before we proceed, let's define what is File Explorer. File Explorer, also called Windows Explorer, is a built-in file manager application and it debuted with the release of Windows 95 by Microsoft. With a uh, graphical user interface, it is very uh, convenient for users to access and manage drives, folders, and files. However, there are some users reported that their file explorer is not responding when they browse files saved on their hard drive, which is really annoying. This video will provide you the basic troubleshooting steps to fix the file explorer not responding in Windows 10. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with tip number one. Restart file explorer in task manager. By going to task manager, simply right click on the taskbar or you can press Control plus Shift plus Escape on your keyboard for Windows. Let's do that one and right click on the taskbar, start task manager, and there we go. What we have to do is look for File Explorer, the File Explorer app. Let's find that one. There we go. Windows Explorer. To restart Windows Explorer, simply right-click on it and then hit or click Restart. Alright, that's it. That's for our tip number one. Tip number two. Clear File Explorer History. 80% of Windows users who have Windows Explorer issue said that this method worked for them. So let's try that one now. Step number one is to search for the File Explorer options in the search box. File Explorer options. There you go. File Explorer options. Let's open that one up and uh, make sure that you're in the, the general tab and look for the clear button at the bottom. There we go. Simply hit clear and OK. That's it. That's how easy to clear the file explorer history. That's for our tip number two. Tip number three. Restore defaults of file explorer options. Step number one. Search for the File Explorer options in the search box. Just like what we did earlier, File Explorer options. There we go. Right? And then, we have to look for the Restore Default button here at the bottom. Click on Restore Defaults. Click on Apply. And also in the View tab, Reset Folders, click Yes, and then Restore Defaults. And also in the uh, Search tab, Restore Defaults, and hit Apply. Press OK. That's it. And if still not working, let's proceed to tip number four. Tip number four. Update your windows. By doing that, go to your settings. Alright, the gear icon here, click on it and uh, look for update and security. Just click on it and just look for check for updates here at the top. Mine has been updated earlier. So it says here you're up to date. So just need to check for updates. All right, that's it. 
that's how you update your Windows OS. And now it's time for the tip number five. Uninstall unnecessary applications on your computer. Go to your settings. And look for apps. And you can search for the unnecessary applications installed. Based on my personal experience, I have uninstalled Microsoft OneDrive. All right? That's it. Just for demonstration purposes, just click on it and hit uninstall. Or you can also check on the control panel. Just uh, go to programs and features at the uh, top right of your of this Windows Explorer. Click on it, and you'll be in the control panel dashboard. So you can manually uninstall unnecessary app applications. Simply right click on it and hit uninstall. That's how easy to uninstall Windows applications. After uninstalling those applications, you may restart your computer and try again. Tip number six, disable startup applications. By doing that, Simply right click on your taskbar in Start Task Manager. There we go. You have a lot of tabs here. So, what we are looking for is the Startup tab here. This is the Startup tab here, and there are a lot of applications running during startup of the computer. So, this will run once you turn on your computer or laptop. So to disable the unnecessary applications, you can right click on it and hit disable. Mine has been uh, disabled already. Almost all of the startup apps have been uh, disabled. So just like this, you can click on disable if uh, you think that this app is not uh, really important it's not uh, necessary to run during startup right you can also disable all here at the bottom part to disable everything here okay hope you like this video hope it helps and if you like this video just leave a comment below share like and don't forget to subscribe this is tech trip 101 till the next video thank you for watching